What does the acquisition of Rem Pitlick mean for Victor Rask's future in Minnesota? Plus, what are the season expectations for Marcus Foligno, Jordan Greenway, and Ryan Hartman? We find out that and more on today's episode of Locked on Wild. You're Locked on Wild. Your daily podcast on the Minnesota Wild. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network. Your team every day. What's happening, Wild fans? Welcome to another episode of Locked On Wild, your daily Minnesota Wild podcast. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network. Your team every day. Today's episode is brought to you by Fantrax. Fantrax is free. NHL Fantasy Hockey League Manager is the most customizable, easy to use, and feature-rich platform in the industry. Sign up for free at Fantrax.com slash locked on. Thank you for making Lockdown Wild your first listen every day. And just a reminder, Lockdown Wild is free and available wherever you listen to podcasts. On today's episode of Lockdown Wild, we speculate as to what the acquisition of Rem Pitlick means for the Minnesota Wild. Will it mean Victor Rask is potentially on the move? And what does that mean for Matt Boldy and Mar Marco Rossi's starts this season? We also will take a look at the season expectations for the third line, second line, of the Minnesota Wilds starting offense this year with Jordan Greenway, Ryan Hartman, and Marcus Foligno. What can we expect from those three as the season rolls along? My name is Seth Topal, host of Lockdown Wild, veteran Minnesota sports content producer, starting season number one of full-time coverage of the Minnesota Wild for Lockdown Wild. Happy to have you along for today's episode. It is Wednesday, October 6th, and uh, we have a lot to get to here for today's show, but wanted to start with the news that uh, was making the rounds here earlier yesterday as the Wilds claiming former Minnesota hockey player Rem Pitlick off of waivers from the Nashville Predators. Pitlick with 11 career games in uh, Nashville uh, with the Nashville Predators, also playing with the Milwaukee Admirals and the Chicago Wolves in the AHL for the last couple of seasons. Went to Shattuck St. Mary's and also played for the University of Minnesota. So uh, a pretty decorated Minnesota hockey player uh, in Pitlick who is now uh, going to be part of this wild roster. And some interesting tweets from Michael Russo talking about the move after uh, it was announced that uh, Pitlick was claimed off of waivers. And uh, according to Michael Russo, the wild would have to put Pitlick back on waivers to send him to Iowa. So assuming he was plucked to stay and the wild will keep 13 forwards and no more changes. One of Brandon Duhame. Kyle Rao, Matt Boldy, Adam Beckman, Marco Rossi, Connor Dewar will make the opening night roster. So uh, did have uh, one person in response to that tweet ask uh, about what Pitlick brings to the table. And um, it, it looks as though that means Matt Boldy, Marco Rossi, and Adam Beckman all going to start in Iowa. And Russo responds to that tweet with, writing is on the wall, uh, yes. Depends on what the role will be for Rask. Third line winger, fourth line winger, 13th forward, or waivers. And uh, another response asking what Pitlick brings to the table. Um, and uh, it mentions that Pitlick is a left wing who can play center. So if we look at what the Wild have currently. So you've got Kirill Kaprizov, Jewel Eriksson, and Matt Zuccarello. That line is pretty much set. We've also got Jordan Greenway, Ryan Hartman, and Marcus Foligno. That line is pretty much also set as well. Beyond that, the daily faceoff currently has Victor Rask, Freddie Goudreau, and Kevin Fiala penciled in as the third line for the Wild. And then Matt Boldy, Nico Sturm, and Nick Bugstad currently penciled in as the, um, the fourth line. Now, if what is being talked about here ends up happening and Victor Rask is potentially that odd man out and or is put on waivers um, to uh, basically end his wild tenure a little early. At that point, do you maybe move Nico Sturm up to the third line and go Sturm, Goudreau, and Fiala? 
and then have the fourth line be Kyle Rau, Rem Pitlick, and Nick Bugstad because you've got a couple of guys on that line that have center experience and can uh, can mix and match and can play in a couple of different spots. That might be something that the Wild look at, especially as we get closer to the season, if indeed Matt Boldy, Marco Rossi, and Adam Beckman are all destined to start the season in Iowa. Then at that, po- at that point, it seems pretty likely that we may not see Victor Rask um, play any sort of a uh, uh, substantial role on this team. Um, either will be kind of the injury fill-in or could end up being on his way out. That's a fascinating proposition for a guy entering his final season with the Minnesota Wild and really, I think, speaks to the frustration with his level of play um, with the Wild this past season and uh, the desire to just get some new faces into that center spot and to just try to kind of just just like they did with Parisian Suter, just try to uh, kind of end some of the previous acquisitions uh, made before Bill Guerin and, uh, and try to get some new faces in here. So a fascinating development. Lockdown Wild will, of course, keep an eye on it and uh, keep you up to date as to what ends up happening there. But the big takeaway from uh, from this news is that it seems as though Rem Pitlick is here to stay unless the Wild put him back on waivers to try to get him to Iowa, which may mean that a name that we were not anticipating, such as Victor Rask, could potentially be either the last forward on the team and therefore a healthy scratch most nights or could be uh, on his way out. Something very fascinating to keep an eye on here as we near closer to the start of the season. We will talk next about the season expectations for the line consisting of Jordan Greenway, Ryan Hartman, and Marcus Foligno. So we'll start uh, with the guy who I think has the most to prove this season. That, of course, is Jordan Greenway. That is next here on Locked on Wild. Do you hear that sound? It's the sound of another sale on Shopify, the all-in-one commerce platform to start, run, and grow your business. Shopify gives entrepreneurs the resources once reserved for big business, so upstarts, startups, and established businesses alike can sell everywhere, synchronize online, and in-person sales, and effortlessly, effortlessly stay informed. Scaling your business is a journey of endless possibility. I love how Shopify has the tools and resources to make it easy for any business to succeed from down the street to around the globe. You can reach customers online and across social networks with an ever-growing suite of channel integrations and apps, including Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest, and more. You can also gain insights as you grow with detailed reporting of conversion rates, profit margins, and beyond. Shopify is more than a store. Shopify grows with you. This is Possibility powered by Shopify. So go to shopify.com slash NHL all lowercase, for a free 14-day trial and get full access to Shopify's entire suite of features. You can grow your business with Shopify today. Go to shopify.com slash NHL right now. That's shopify.com slash NHL. All right, hockey fans, fantasy hockey season is fast approaching, and I'm going to give you the inside track on the absolute best fantasy hockey platform in the industry. It's Fantrax. Fantrax is free NHL fantasy hockey league managers, the most customizable, easy to use, and feature-rich platform in the industry. This is where I host all of my fantasy leagues as a commissioner. Some, I can tell you, I'm never leaving Fantrax ever again. So you can sign up free today, and as a special offer for Locked On Wild fans, you'll be entered in to win an official NHL-signed Nathan McKinnon jersey. Simply go to Fantrax.com slash Locked On and sign up today. Fantrax is the most customizable platform in the industry, offering the greatest fantasy experience for your dynasty, keeper, redraft, and best ball leagues. 
If you've had leagues on Yahoo or ESPN, migrate them to Fantrax for a better experience. Fantrax Commissioner Tools allow you to create your fantasy league exactly the way you want. Do you want more player position eligibility? Are you a fan of head-to-head leagues? Points? Roto? Category? Best ball? Fantrax has it all. Among the most trusted names in fantasy sports offering hockey, football, baseball, basketball, college basketball, college football, golf, soccer, and NASCAR. So again, sign up for free today and be entered to win an official NHL signed Nathan McKinnon jersey. Simply go to Fantrax.com slash locked on and sign up today. That's Fantrax.com slash locked on. Fantrax, home of fantasy sports. Continuing today's episode of Locked on Wild. And again, thank you for making Locked on Wild your first listen every day. We are trying to get questions answered now about uh, the entire Wild roster as we move throughout uh, the rest of the preseason into the start of the season. And so just like we did last episode, we're going to continue to answer three questions about everybody on the roster. What constitutes a successful season? Can the player beat their projections in terms of stats? And are there any concerns heading into the season? So we're looking at the line of Jordan Greenway, Ryan Hartman, and Marcus Foligno today. We're going to take the longest time, though, talking about the guy who has arguably the most to prove this season. That, of course, is Jordan Greenway, who, by all accounts, is kind of come in a little bit below what he is capable of at the NHL level. And that led to Coach Dean Evason making some comments before the uh, last preseason game as to uh, some things that he'd like to see from, uh, from Greenway, basically just trying to pick his play up. And so I did want to bring those quotes up as well as we talk about Greenway here today. Um, this coming uh, after the, uh, the Wilds preseason win, over the Colorado Avalanche. And uh, we'll start with Jordan Greenway. These uh, from Michael Russo saying that um, uh, Greenway talking about his performance. I wasn't myself happy with how I played in the first game. I didn't talk to coaches much about it, to be honest. Just wanted to build off of last game, but I didn't think I could do much worse. And uh, Everson comes in right after that. Maybe two years ago, he thinks, well, I didn't play so bad. He knows now that he played like crap. Obviously, he was sick and didn't get into the next game, but the way he forechecked tonight and his physical presence, he's taking a step forward maturity-wise. This has always been kind of the biggest issue with Jordan Greenway's performance is that it seems like he puts it all together at points, especially at the start of the season, and really gets off to a strong start and then seems to just kind of fade away um, that is the thing that I think wild fans want to see from him is to put things together, um, and, and really put all of his skill set together here this season. Uh, Greenway, hugely physical presence. He has the, the potential to be even more of a physical presence on this team than Marcus Felino is currently. And so if Greenway can use that to his potential, you have a line that all of a sudden has two super enforcers that can just bruise and beat up opposing top lines and can really do a number on uh, opposing teams uh, starting offenses and uh, especially starting top lines. You got two guys that can just ragdoll people all up and down the ice if, they, uh, if they're able to, uh, to kind of get it put together, if Greenway is able to, um, to do that this season and that could be a huge asset and a key point for the wild to become one of those uh, teams that you know we've we've talked about last year to this year with a really really fun offense all of a sudden then you are starting to uh, to do what the St. Louis Blues have where they have just all of these physical presences that can enforce their will on their opponents now you've got the battering ram line and you got a line that can really make life miserable uh, for your opponent. So in terms of what makes what constitutes a successful season for Jordan Greenway, it's really as simple as just putting it all together. We've seen flashes of, uh, of his ability to, uh, to help his teammates out and to kind of lead pass 
uh, to goals for uh, for Erickson Eck, for uh, for Felino. Um, we've seen that in spots. We've seen him be physical and uh, and not take any of the the chirping from opponents and really establish like this is how we're going to play and this is the kind of identity we're going to have. We've seen that at points. Let's put it all together and uh, and let's see the uh, the total package here for Greenway this season. You look at some of his numbers, and I'm not I'm not even talking necessarily uh, from a scoring perspective. Uh, six goals, 26 points, 32, uh, 32 points for Greenway in 56 games. In 2019-2020, he had 28 points in 67 games. And then back to his, uh, his first full season with the Wild, 24 points in 81 games, 12 goals, 12 assists. If Greenway is as physical as he can be and he puts it together, I think you're looking at a guy who could be a uh, a solid 15 goal scorer and could get you between 40 and 50 points a night. Now, obviously that is a lot to ask of him this season. But at the same time, if he puts it together and he he really starts to use all of his tools uh the way that he should, there's no reason that he can't be that high of a performer um at the NHL level. The 32 points last year was a career high in a career low in terms of uh, of full season games. Now, the six goals was not close to his career high, but who's to say he can't be a 15 goal, 30 assist kind of a guy if he just puts it together. Now, with Jewel Erickson Eck not on that line with, uh, with him and Marcus Foligno, obviously Greenway is going to be asked to score a little more. Uh, to help those two out. So double-digit goals for him is not out of the question this year. And so moving on to the second question, can he outpace his uh, his fantasy projections for this year? Um, they are projecting Greenway at 50 points, uh, 49 points to be exact, in 80 games. 10 goals, 39 assists for 49 points. Can he do that? I think he can, because like I said, he's going to be asked to try to score a little more with uh, Jewel Erickson Eck not on the line with him. Ryan Hartman has just ascended, and I can't wait to talk about Hartman next segment, because he just seems to have ascended into this you know, super adept passing center uh, for this wild team that I think is going to help out both um, Felino and Greenway as well. So... Felino is just, or uh, Hartman that is, is just starting to kind of take his game to a new level, which is very exciting. And so Greenway is going to have more scoring opportunities, you would think. So 10 goals, 15 goals. I don't think that's out of the question for Greenway uh, this season. And so I think he can definitely outperform his, uh, his expectations in terms of numbers. And to wrap up the Greenway portion of this, are there any concerns heading into the 2021-2022 season? Yes. There are major concerns that he's going to do what he has done for the last couple of years, where he starts off really well, has everything put together, and is a solid contributor to his line, and then just disappears. And if that happens, then that probably spells the end of his tenure in Minnesota because I don't think the Wilds will look to re-sign him unless he signs on the Wilds' terms. If he puts together a uh, a season that he's capable of, the Wild are going to have some huge questions after this season, not only with him, but also with Kevin Fiala as well. So if Jordan Greenway puts everything together and is physical and is engaged and active in this offense. He's going to be a heck of a player for this team, and he's going to be a great third-line wing uh, for this wild team. I definitely think he can outpace his uh, his projected numbers, and the biggest worry is that he falls into the same trap that he's been the last couple of seasons with a hot start and just a complete cool-off. 
after the uh, the first 20 or 30 games of the season. So that is uh, that is kind of what we expect from Jordan Greenway. We will finish today's show talking about what we expect from Ryan Hartman and Marcus Felino. That is next here on Locked on Wild. This fall, Built Bar wants to help you celebrate freedom of choice. Did you know Built Bar has amazing tasting flavors? They've got a lineup that includes coconut, cherry barcia, raspberry, mint brownie, double chocolate, salted caramel, strawberry, orange, cookies and cream, and German chocolate. For what it's worth, my favorite is definitely raspberry, but if you're not sure which flavor to sink your teeth into first, you can get the mixed box, which contains two each of those nine flavors, maybe 10, maybe pumpkin spice is on the way here for fall. You never know. But uh, those nine, a great way to go, no matter which one you start with. Not only does Built Bar taste great, they are also amazingly healthy for you. Each Built Bar contains 17 to 18 grams of protein, ranges in calories from 130 to 180, contains only 4 to 5 grams of sugar, and only 4 to 5 grams of net carbs. Amazing tasting, amazingly healthy. What's not to like about Built Bar? So head to Built.com and use the promo code LOCKED15 and you'll get 15% off of your next order. Again, use the promo code LOCKED15 for 15% off at Built.com. BetOnline.ag is back and better than ever. All eyes are on the gridiron as teams are back for another football season. And as always, BetOnline.ag is your number one spot for all the pro and college football action this season. With the new updated site and interface, even more odds, props, and contests, BetOnline.ag continues to be the number one source for everything football. So head to BetOnline.ag on your laptop or use your mobile device to sign up today and receive your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Make sure to use the promo code LOCKEDON to receive that 50% welcome bonus. From football, basketball, boxing, right to your favorite Vegas casino games, don't wait to take advantage of all the amazing offers available for the 2021 season. BetOnline.ag is the fastest and easiest way to bet on all of your favorite sports. That's BetOnline.ag, where the game starts. Final segment of today's episode of Locked on Wild. Again, thank you for making Locked on Wild your first listen every day. We are available everywhere you listen to podcasts and free of charge. We are going to take a look at the expectations for Marcus Foligno and Ryan Hartman. Let's dig in with Ryan Hartman because it's going to be a new role for Hartman this year. And honestly, Ryan Hartman is becoming one of my favorite players on this team, I think, because of the things that he does that you don't think about that lead to this team winning games. And one of the things that he's going to be asked to do this year that is uh, going to help this wild team is he is going to be asked to center the line consisting of uh, him, Jordan Greenway, and uh, Marcus Foligno because Jewel Erickson is getting the promotion to the top line with Kirill Kaprizov and Matt Zuccarello. They looked fantastic, by the way, uh, against the Avalanche. And so I think it's safe to say that that line is going to do some great things. We'll finally get to see Kirill Kaprizov play with a better center. And so uh, somebody had to step in with the Felino and Greenway line to try to keep those two in order and to uh, to try to help kind of facilitate while also bringing that defensive presence to this team. And Ryan Hartman is it. He is the guy that um, I think has really turned a corner after his performance in the playoffs against the Vegas Golden Knights. He has carried that into the preseason as well. And uh, just continues to be, you know, an absolute grinder for this team that is sorely needed and a guy that uh, that took less money to stay here. So uh, he is going to be a pivotal part of this team. Now, what do we consider a successful season for Ryan Hartman? Well, I think it's as simple as that. If he can hop onto that line with Greenway and Felino, and that line can keep the level of production that it had last year may be exceeded a little bit. Um, this team is going to be able to deploy that line uh, against the top line of their opponents to try to slow them down defensively. And uh, it's really going to take some pressure off of Marcus Foligno 
and Jordan Greenway. If Hartman can uh, can help contribute and produce on a nightly basis um, to this new line. So if Hartman does that, if he hops into that uh, that third line and we don't miss a beat, and uh, that line is able to continue to do its thing against opposing teams, it's going to be a tremendously successful season for uh, Ryan Hartman. His projections this season look like this. Uh, projected for 22 points. Actually, I beg your pardon. Uh, that was his uh, point total for 2021. Now, let's just, I should preface, going off of ESPN uh, Fantasy Hockey, probably not the uh, the best of ideas, but uh, at the same time, 22 points divided by 51 games, that's point four three points per game. If we take 82 points or 82 games times 0.43 points per game, that's 35 points uh, over the course of the season. And uh, we take his goal average. Uh, projecting uh, Hartman based off of last year's numbers to be a 10 goal scorer, 25 assists kind of a guy. If he can do that for this wild team, I think that is going to be great. And um, I, I think he's going to be able to do that. Honestly, I think Hartman, with how he's played over the uh, the last, you know, the playoff series against the Golden Knights, he was one of the best players we had in the ice. And through the preseason so far, he has looked like, you know, uh, he, he has looked like a guy who is really going to excel at this role this year. If he can continue to play at that level, I think the sky's the limit. And really the only concern heading into the season for Ryan Hartman is going to be if he does not gel with Greenway and Felino. Because then what do you do? Do you bring Jewel Eric Snack back down to that line? And then who centers Kirill Kaprizov and Matt Zuccarello? That could be a big concern for this team. If Hartman does not gel with those two, and uh, it leads to the Wild having to go back to some of the things that they used last year, that'd be about the only thing that uh, that would concern me about Hartman this season. But again, a pro's pro, and he's going to give the Wild everything he's got. And uh, he's just going to, you know, he's going to hop in and he's going to do the little things that we don't see in the box score. Hartman is just, he's such a pivotal part of this team. And uh, it's good to see him finally getting rewarded for that um, as, as we move forward. So if Hartman can gel with those two and create that uh, defensive line that the Wild leaned on so much last year, and we don't really miss a beat there, then successful season for Hartman. I think it is very possible that he exceeds his um, his projections from a stat perspective. And really the only thing that worries me is what happens if he doesn't gel with those two. Then what do we go back to? Final projection of the night. The Marcus Felino season expectations. The Moose fan club. Uh, shout out to Alexis Pearson. Um, the president of the Marcus Felino fan club. Now is when we dig in and uh, and talk about Moose and what he brings to this team, the physical presence, the enforcer for this team, but a guy who really um, was a dark horse MVP candidate for this team when he first came back onto the ice, missed the first part of the season um, due to an injury played in a couple of games and then was uh, was hurt for a while and came back, uh, was on pace to shatter his career highs in terms of goals, points, um, and as I said, was a dark horse MVP candidate for this team when he first came back onto the ice. Now, a successful season for Felino, and not to say that he's going to, um, not to say that he's going to get to those numbers, um, this season, but at the same time, you look at what he was able to do. He had uh, 11 goals, 15 assists in 39 games, 26 points in 39 games. He was also a plus 19 in those games. So if he can do even slightly less than that uh, this season, uh, that's going to take pressure off of Ryan Hartman. That's going to take pressure off of uh, Jordan Greenway. And if he can perform at that level, 
that third line becomes even more dangerous because not only can you defensively wear down the uh, the top line opponents, but you can also put some pucks in the net too. And so if he can keep it similar to that level for this season, and if he can avoid, um, I've tried, I've tried so much to avoid the injury thing because that is something that every team is going to go through. If he though can avoid any sort of freak injuries, which is uh, what happened to him last year uh, when he broke his ankle. If you can avoid any of those types of injuries, that would be great. But uh, again, injuries are something that every team is going to have to deal with. So we just you just hope that they're minimal um, and that uh, the Wilds can lean on their depth to fill whatever voids they have. From a fantasy perspective, Felino is pegged for 14 goals and 25 assists, 39 points in 71 games. Um, again, I think he can beat it because let's just uh, let's just do a little math here. So uh, Greenway had 11 goals in 39 games. That is 0.28 goals per game. So if you if you take that over 82 games, that's 22 goals that uh, Felino could have scored had he played an entire season. Even if you take it over 71 games, that's 19 goals that uh, Felino was on pace for. And uh, 15 assists in 39 games, that's uh, 0.38 assists per game. So that's 27 assists. So 19 points, 27 assists. You know, he's he's right up there um, knocking at the door of a 40-point season, 50-point uh, season even, was his pace last year. So if he can even... If he can even do a 40-point type season, like 15 goals, 25 assists, something like that, um, that's going to tremendously help out this team uh, try to wither some of the losses that they had in the bottom six. And, you know, then you've got the full package with Felino. You've got the, uh, the defense, you've got the physicality, and you've got the goals to match it as well. So if Felino... Uh, is able to stay healthy. I don't think there's any reason he can't exceed his uh, his fantasy projections. And obviously, on the other end of the spectrum, um, the concern heading into the season, honestly, really, at this point, it's not even him so much. It's his line mates. If Ryan Hartman does not gel with those two on that uh, line, then who ends up being your center? That, that's really my biggest concern with that line because defensively, they're going to bring it. Offensively, as long as they gel together, they're going to be fine as well. So as long as Felino has, uh, has a good center uh, next to him, I think he's going to be just fine. He is you know one of the heart and soul members of this team. He's got the alternate captain uh, A on his jersey for a reason. And so I think this is just... A really, really good opportunity for Felino to put it all together this year. And if he does, it's going to be a very dangerous team. That brings us to the end of today's episode of Locked on Wilds. Again, thank you for making Locked on Wilds your first listen every day. Now that you are done with your first listen here today, make sure to head over to Locked on Fantasy Hockey for your second listen of the day. Host Scott Cullen leans on his decades of fantasy hockey insight and experience every day to help you be the expert of your fantasy league. Locked on Fantasy Hockey is free and available on all podcast platforms. Make sure to follow Locked on Wild as well. Anywhere you listen to podcasts, we're also on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram. Follow us on YouTube for new videos throughout the week. We'll have uh, a preview coming up today as well for the Wilds preseason game uh, coming up this evening against the St. Louis Blues. So make sure to keep an eye out for that as well. And uh, make sure to follow along for new episodes every Monday through Friday as part of the Locked On Podcast Network.